That's our intro music. Nah, we ain't doing that. What's goody, world? <laughs> What's goody? It's Nolo and T. We back. Look, the comment section been telling me I'm going to like this one. They keep saying things like, oh, bro, all those shoes you got, you need to check out Bill Burr, Black Friends Clothes in Harlem. You're going to like that one. I have a feeling you're going to like that one. What you think? Let's see. Let's get into it. You ready, babe? Yeah. Let me make sure this is right. <clears throat> Let's go. Actually, I got up. a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion. And uh, <laughs> I got to get rid of them, man. I got to miss these. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm spending too much money on clothes hanging out with them. Because I got to, like, fucking try to keep up with their wardrobe. <laughs> it's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. <laughs> Fendi. So when I show up with my white version of nice. brand new, which is, you know, I basically, I iron the shit, right? <laughs> I iron it right into. They just start trashing me. I can't keep up with them, man. They got like fucking 58 pairs of sneakers. Have you ever noticed that shit? Like every color fucking Timberland. And I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. To match that, by the way. <laughs> and a hat. Like chill, room. chill. With the blip on the side, the no what, Even when you wear some new shit, there's like some sort of rule that you gotta like space out the amount of time with, within which, like, that you wear it. Because God forbid you wear the same shirt within a ten day period, one of them's gonna notice. We ain't doing it. All of a sudden, just look at you funny like we not doing it. The same shit he had on last two. Calling your ass out too. And the whole car's like, oh shit. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a Fendi fucking, fucking fact. First they do the math. Like, what was that, five days ago? Five days ago. Motherfucker got five shirts. <laughs> <laughs> got five shirts. Yo, the way he say motherfucker, it's hilarious <laughs> to me. Yo, his first shirt be saying Monday. Next shirt be saying Tuesday. <laughs> yo, on the weekend, he ain't be wearing no shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's true. We okay, bad with that funny. shit. You know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now. <laughs> when I first came to the city, like all black people scared me. Fuck out of like here. Like a typical white dude from like the suburbs, you know what I mean? Had no frame of reference, you know. Let me go on the record saying I do not think Bill Burr was afraid of any black people at any point in his <laughs> fucking life. <laughs> I was like a typical white dude from like the suburbs, you know what I mean? Had no frame of reference, you know. Because my only frame of reference with black people was like those. Remember those early '90s gangster rap videos? Throw the fucking L.A. riots in there, man. Fucking horrible PR. <laughs> I'm watching the videos. Look, he's got nice car. He's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> These black dudes are never happy. <laughs> but after 10 years of living in the city, this is how I narrow it down. Whether a black dude scares me or not. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. As they should. Because they don't give no. a fuck. <laughs> Talk that shit, man. Wait a minute. Is this comedy? This and motherfucker so truthing out here. He's truthing. The immediate shit that they have on. So, I, no. I figured out my head because I know from hanging out with them, that's the last shit that they're going to let go. The immediate shit that they have on. So, I think, you know, if his sneakers are fucked up, that means his life is fucked up. Every time he leaves his building, the whole neighborhood, oh, shit. <laughs> Everyone starts making fun of him. How does he know this? train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody, kind of mug me kind of face. <laughs> nah, he got I'm some real black friends. going to happen. I'm just saying. I'm paying attention. He got some real, real, real niggas in his corner. I've seen this girl recently. Uh, this black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know? Gone on like three, four times, you know? First time we hung out, we hung out in like the village area in New York, you know, which is sort of like a racially mixed area. <laughs> so shit was cool, you know what I mean? Second time we hung out was more like midtown, you know? Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning, and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? So it's 3.30 in the morning. She lives in Harlem. I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. <laughs> yeah, because you know the deal, right? Basically, a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98th, 99th Street. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the second the streets start getting to like triple digits, <laughs> like 100. It gets scary street, at Harlem. Like, getting like a little asthma, like, eh, <laughs> 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 it's just, it's just something in, in the air. Street, you're like leaning on shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> How come there's no taxis up here? <laughs> Dude, what's a bodega? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So that's true, that's true, that's true. Take the subway.
subway, get off at like 105th Street, 103rd, you know, which is like the first stop in Harlem where I can still look over my shoulder and see like all the white people like disappearing <laughs> over the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> She goes, no, man, you want to get on the Uptown 2-3 train, you want to get off at 125th Street. I'm like, God, mm. 125th Street. Spooky She's business is tighter. Jesus <laughs> Christ, it's like right in the middle of everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be surrounded on all four sides. I can't fucking do it. What the fuck? Why is that so funny to me? So... Why is that so point, funny to I'm me, I'm really bro. trying to hide, like, the bitchy tone that's starting to creep into my voice, you know? <laughs> and I'm trying to ask for really specific directions for when I get up there, because I want to know exactly where I'm going. So she starts naming the streets I have to go down, and every other street up there is named after, like, a black leader, you know? And she's like, make a left on Adam Clayton, take a right on Frederick <laughs> Douglass. I'm like, oh, fuck, Adam Clayton. <laughs> Work it out, bro. Together and get on the goddamn train, right? So as always, I listen to my dick. <laughs> as oh, always. Yeah, I get on the train. By the time <coughs> I get up there, it's like five or four in the morning, right? I'm staying on like Malcolm X and like Danny Glover or something. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Glover. Danny Glover Boulevard. <laughs> Danny Glover Boulevard. Like, street, I want to go up. I want to go up Saint Nick. I can literally see her apartment. <laughs> door, but there's like five or six black dudes standing right on the corner. Right where I want to walk by. Like, mm. Fuck! At that bodega. <laughs> at that bodega. I felt like I was on like some reality show at that point. Like some sort of like white guy survivor. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so I'm thinking I got to walk right by these guys, right? You yeah, know what's funny? I think that they were actually more surprised to see me than I was scared, you know? And I was really, really scared, you know? But I'm also really, really white, you know? <laughs> like shockingly Caucasian. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if you're not ready for me, I can like surprise you. <laughs> no, we got actually if you live up there, know you you've been a white person for hours, possibly days. So when I show up, it's almost like magical. Like a leprechaun came out of nowhere, you know? <laughs> Felt like I should have like a little pot of gold. <laughs> like a rainbow behind me. Top of the morning to you like <laughs> Kind of dance my way past them. <sighs> but it's been going all right, you know? Once I get in her apartment, I'm fine, you know? I relax, sit down, you know, watch a hip-hop countdown. Pretend <laughs> <laughs> like I know. Wait, wait, wait. The hip-hop countdown. That's that after high school activity. Hey, he that fucking liar, bro. We coming home to watch some fucking hip-hop countdown. <laughs> So, so right now, <laughs> if you guys don't know, he's he's at her house around around four four thirty p.m. right now. The countdown usually come on at about six six thirty. The countdowns, Rap City, and all that. I think. I don't know. <laughs> she might be right. <laughs> all the groups, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's just getting there that's a fucking pain in the ass. But you know, I don't get mad at it because I figure you know black dudes got to go through the same shit though, right? When you go out to the suburbs, go fuck a white girl, right? <laughs> It's that same awful feeling of just leaving what? your people behind, you know, just less and less of you as you're fucking driving out there. <laughs> you probably start off lean and you're all fucking cool. 20 minutes in, you're driving like 10 and 2. To be <laughs> that is when you get to Marietta and Alpharetta. It's too much crap. I don't see any rims. <laughs> it's fucked up. None of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see white people in every car. This is fucked up. Listen, you guys were awesome. Thank you can you see so right through the house. house. You see right through the house. Yo, he ain't lying. Yo, last night me and T went to dinner, man, and we took the scenic route. And bruh, hey man, the white people, man, they're so carefree in their neighborhoods. All the windows open, no blind. You can see right. right. We saw people having dinner. We watched a couple of seconds of a show while we were at the stop sign and on somebody's TV. It's crazy. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> drop a like. Make sure you sub, man. No loan Kiwi out. Peace. Peace, 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 peace bro.